Hey guys, this is Mike NetbookLive.net and I'm here today with another new very interesting portable laptop. What we have here is the ASUS uh, U36J uh, which was just uh, recently announced by ASUS last week and we've got uh, a hands-on sample model. Uh, this uh, one right here is going to be identical with the one available in stores in a couple of weeks. Uh, okay. Uh, what we have is the silver version, uh, there's also going to be a black version that we're going to get in the next couple of days. Uh, for now, we're going to take a look at this, uh, this device, the silver version of the ASUS UL36J. Uh, first of all, uh, I must say this is one of the most solid 10-inchers uh, I've, I've seen uh, so far. Uh, comes with a very very slick uh, shape. It's very very narrow, not as narrow as the uh, MacBook Air, for instance, but still uh, very very. It's very very thin and uh, looks very good. Uh, of course, this is a 13 by 0.3 uh, incher, uh, but uh, it's a little bit uh, wider than than regular because uh, in order to, probably in order to make it this slim, they had to to make it a little uh, a little. Uh, uh, wider and a little bit uh, longer. Anyway, uh, first, this is the casing outside. This is uh, uh, some kind of uh, aluminum, uh, magnesium alloy, something like this. And uh, this uh, kind of finish is used for the lid. As you can see, it, um, it's, it bends a little bit, but not much. Only a little bit. And uh, this uh, kind of finish doesn't catch fingerprints, doesn't catch smudges. And I think it's going to be quite resistant in time. Uh, when when deal with scratches and dust and stuff like this on the back it's a very nice uh, plastic finish uh, right here we have the battery and uh, this is the dedicated uh, port for upgrading uh, memory uh, i think this ones on the front are speakers and also a couple of cooling vents and cooling vents here and here as well uh, let's see the battery on this particular version Okay, not sure exactly how to get it off. I think you have to press this, pull. Okay, like this. This is the battery. This is the smaller version, uh, 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 four cell, uh, 2900 milliamps uh, battery. And uh, there's also going to be a bigger one, uh, an eight cell battery, which is going to be car uh, quite. Uh, uh, oh, actually, no. This is the uh, 44 watt hour battery and uh, it's going to be quite okay and there's also going to be a smaller, a bigger 8 cell battery as well available for this uh, ASUS let's see if we got something else in here, no SIM card uh, I think this is pretty much all, let's put the battery back in it should slide like this not that easy to put it in, ok and then lock it in place ok uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, the ports and the sides uh, before uh, seeing what you, what we have in, on the inside. Okay, let's see. Uh, first, on this side, you have a headset right here, a microphone, an SD card, two USB readers, and this is the the LAN port. You will notice it's placed it's placed towards the uh, the back part of the device, so you won't get uh, uh, any cables in your way. These are standard USB 2.0 ports on the back. Uh, these are the screen's hinges right here and the big battery on this other side what we have is Kensington Log, PSU, VG output, HDMI and another USB and this is a cooling vent and on the front like I said I think these are the speakers some cooling fans and uh, also right here are the status LEDs okay, right here on the front now let's finally open it Okay, this is the device right here. Uh, actually, looks very, very good. You'll notice that this entire part is ca is casted from aluminum, uh, like we saw on uh, on uh, MacBooks, for instance. This uh, makes it very solid. There's all, there's no bending at all, no flex, and uh, this uh, part around the screen is glossy. Unfortunately, this is this was still kept glossy, and the screen is glossy as well. And as you can see, there's uh, a pretty uh, thick uh, ba uh, mm, margin around the bezel 
So that's why I said the device is a little bit wider than other 13.3 inches. But overall it looks very very good. This is the trackpad, feels quite comfortable. There's a single click button but it's quite easy to press. And right here you have the status LEDs like I said. And this is the quick uh, button to launch a quick express, the uh, ASUS is, uh, OS. You have it right here. And on this other side you have the button for powering uh, on the device. Okay, the keyboard, it's uh, the standard layout, it's a chiclet keyboard, like I said, almost no flex at all, uh, keys are properly spaced and the uh, space between them is pretty good, so overall a pretty, a pretty nice device. Uh, let's power it, and uh, in the meantime, while it's powering, okay, you can see the glossy screen, you can see me in there, so not, uh, not the best to use outside, but come on, uh, I think that's uh, all we can uh, uh, get uh, right now on 13 inches. Uh, also, right here on the top of the screen, I've got to show you there's the standard webcam and the microphone as well. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, specs, this comes with uh, Core uh, i5 and Core i3 processors. The version I have right here is the lower uh, end version, which is going to come with the Core i3 380M processor, clocked at 2.53 GHz. This is a very new processor, not uh, uh, not many details about it for now, but uh, it's a pretty good processor. Uh, also, it comes with uh, dedicated graphics with NVIDIA uh, GeForce uh, 310M, and uh, it's going to have uh, Ion for uh, no, no Ion. Uh, it's going to have Optimus for uh, easily changing between uh, uh, the, the the chips, the dedicated and uh, integrated chips, uh, when uh, you require it. Uh, uh, depending on the application you're going to use. Also, this one comes with only two gigabytes of memory, but you can easily you can easily upgrade this uh, on your own. So overall, the performance on this machine is pretty snappy. I can't tell you too many things about prices right now. Uh, probably going to go for I don't know 700, 800 bucks in the US. Um, we're going to, to come back uh, with a more detailed clip once we get uh, the, the more advanced version, the one with 8-cell uh, battery and uh, the better processor. Uh, and uh, also, in the meantime, you can go on the site uh, and uh, you're going to find there some details about the performances of this particular processor, the Core i3 380M, on this uh, ASUS uh, portable laptop. Okay, this is, for, this is it for now. Uh, for more details, please go on the site on netbooklife.net. Uh, like I said, uh, this is a very interesting device, uh, one of the best uh, uh, portable uh, laptops I've seen uh, in the, in the uh, last uh, last month or actually last years, uh, if uh, if you ASUS were to were to install a Mate display and a Mate uh, border around the screen, I would say that would have been the perfect uh, ultra portable for me. Uh, but uh, it's still uh, pretty interesting. So, like I said, stay tuned for the review on NetbookLive.net and all the other uh, all the other details. Uh, thank you. That was Mike from NetbookLive.net. Once again, thanks for watching.